Hey guys, coming up in this video, it's Mini Me. So we have an Ultra Mini battery. These are both 12 volt, 100 amp hour batteries, but they've made it even smaller. This is more compact. You're gonna be able to fit more in one location. So this is the 100 amp hour, and this is a 100 amp hour. They both have the exact same capacity. This is more of the traditional case. This is all what we're used to. And this is what we usually see when we think of a 100 amp hour battery, but now we have an ultra mini. So the way that this is constructed is they did away with the foam and the air padding that is inside of the case. And this is right to the cells. So if you were to strip away this plastic or ABS, it would be directly on the cells. You wouldn't see any cushion. Whereas this battery here has cushion. Now, if you're going to be using this, like throwing it off the Hoover Dam or something like that, I wouldn't suggest going with this. Maybe go with something with a lot more padding. I mean, if you're just installing this in an RV or a camper and you don't expect to be throwing stuff against it and banging into it or dropping it, I don't think the extra padding and air space is necessary in this type of a battery. So let's take a look at this. We're going to do a capacity test, see if we pass that. And then I'm just going to take the top of the lid off. Uh, Brad over on his channel, I'll leave links in the description below. He already opened it up. Uh, he was not able to take the pack out. I don't think I'm going to be able either. The only way I'm going to be able to see the cells is if I actually cut the battery open. And I don't want to do that. I want to preserve and use the battery. So let's take a measurement and see what size this is. And the top of the battery measures in at just under five and a half inches. And we have nine inches exactly wide and eight and a quarter tall. And eight and a half to the top of the post. So with this battery here, we have a couple of handles on top for easy transport. So on the side here, we have a serial number. We have, it's hard to see, but we have a QC pass sticker. So they put a translucent with black writing sticker on a black case. It's kind of not really that smart. We have a three year free replacement. If there is any non-human indicated damage to the battery within three years, you can contact us to obtain a new battery. I like that non-human. So what if my dog chews on it? That's kind of an odd statement. And on this side here, we just have the 12.8 volt, 100 amp hour, ultra mini, deep cycle battery. So let's get to the capacity test. And I'm ready to commence with my test. Okay, and we're starting to ramp up. Okay, and we are now discharging with just under 45 amps, which is almost a 0.5 C discharge rate. I'm gonna let this go and then uh, I'll be back with the results when the test is done. Okay, my inverter is starting to complain now and I'm coming up on 102 amp hours out of 100 amp hours. So we've already passed the test. Let's just see how much more we can get. Oh, there we go. And the inverter has disconnected. So we have 102.357 amp hours out of the 100 amp hour battery. So that's a really good test. Let's open up the lid and see what it looks like on the inside. Okay, so I got the lid off as much as I want to. I'm not gonna be able to get this pack out, but you can see here, we have the balance lead cables here, and then we have a high temperature sensor with this gob of glue, and then this other gob of glue here. You can see we have the same colored wires going back under to the MOSFETs. So that's another high temperature sensor. There is no low temperature sensor here. You can see we have this BMS is ready to take a heat. If you wanted to do a heated battery, that's what the H plus is going to be for. And then we have NTC, which that is going to be for your temperature sensors. There's a couple more here that can be soldered too. So we do not have low temperature uh, protection on this battery, just high temperature. So with this battery past the capacity test, we do have high temperature protection, but unfortunately this actually does not have low temperature protection. Brad also put this into a cooler and left it overnight to freeze it and then charged it and it did take a charge. So I know it doesn't have low temperature. For $300, Ultra Mini gets the full amp hours. As long as you set up your own protection in your system, you'll be fine. Uh, you just don't want to charge below freezing. 
So that's going to wrap it up for this video. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.